everybody. Um, I have a cold today, and I uh, think I'll probably uh, not be talking too much. I need to update some things on a website I made um, at least a year ago, I think. And it's just a really basic static HTML site. Uh, so I'm just going to work on that. And um, if you have any questions, I'll, um, I'll be looking back at the, at the live chat and I can answer some questions. But otherwise, I'll be talking a lot less than I, uh, than I normally do. Right now, I think I am going to put a link on Twitter, though. <laughs> let me get the uh, let me get the link ready and up on Twitter. Alright, as soon as I put this link up on Twitter, I'm going to get started and uh, start coding a little bit. Tweet is posted and this should be good. All right. Okay, so I see we have a few people watching uh, that weren't here, so I'm just going to repeat really quickly. I have a cold, so I'm not going to do a lot of commentary, but feel free to ask questions in the live chat, and I will, um, I'll try to answer them. And we're just going to work on um, just a static HTML site. It's one that we haven't worked on before on a stream. Um, but it'll be pretty, pretty easy to follow along, even if you're, you're just starting out in, uh, in front-end uh, development. So let's get this site running first. Let's find our terminal. Okay. Like I said, I'm I'm gonna be pretty quiet from now on unless you ask a question. Uh, 
I'm just deleting and updating my node modules since um, I've, I've updated my node version probably several times since I've last worked on this uh, so some things aren't working right this should fix it to do some conversions on some logos here in a minute as well. Let's see. All right, that's taking a while. Let's get these logos conversions worked out then. to say we're working on right. I'm looking to add a dining page up here is in already that we're going to use There's a tagging page right, so just to have some basic stuff for the dining page I think I want to bring over some of a more build out page let's see which one will work maybe this one oops I think I need there we go. Yeah, let's just um Yeah, let's copy everything on this page and bring it over and then we can we can edit it. Let's find our local page. <clears throat> Let's 
Sorry for all the sniffing. I have a cold. Okay. So we need and we need to make sure that we manually change the menu for all the other pages as well. Uh, so this is really basic HTML. Um, so the site's really fast because of it. Uh, it's a little bit old school to edit. Dining. <clears throat> Not much of a description, but not feeling that creative today. good and you see I've put a lot of the styles up here and that's for load times um, so all the above the fold content has the styles already there um, and it, it renders faster and then everything else renders later on uh, at the bottom of the page <clears throat> We have this, um, this na in page navigation here. The page isn't going to be that long, um, but I'll keep it just for consistency across pages. Uh, so let's change our, um, our sections. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get the names, uh, names of our restaurants. Let me do that. Let me do that first. Let me get the restaurant names and content and paste it in here first. Because uh, I'm not sure what order I want to do it in yet, and and so I don't know where where they should go here in this menu. But I could at least get rid of some of these. logos in each section. Okay, so we need the golf section and disc golf. Okay. 
So there's a there's a development that the university I worked for was involved in, in helping with called Franciscan Square and um, they've just announced three restaurants that are going to open soon uh, so this is the this is the update uh, that's needed for those restaurants so the first one's called Bennigan's that in there. Let's put that in there as well. I do have some responses Im responsive images being used here. Um, but I don't want those anymore. Because this logo is not very large to begin with, so uh, we don't we don't need all of this. So we can get rid of all of this stuff. Let's see what oops. See what our image is called. Um, I'm gonna rename this. I don't like having that space in there. Save that. See how it's it's come out so far. I just need to get a different page, huh? All right, great, great. I was worried. Uh, it, it looks bad when you zoom in. Maybe we'll take away that zoom capability for this one. It's just not big enough. <sighs> so this is a materialized CSS framework, so it comes built in with that little pop-out image thing. So we just removed the class for that, so now it won't be available. So see, I can't, I can't click it anymore. It looks like it's. I must have had some styles attached to that as well. Um, let's put some of this back on. <clears throat> I'm so used to React, I'm just going to do these inline. See if that'll do it. No, huh? in class and materialize.
let's get the images in here now. I have some PDFs that I need to convert. Um, so let's check how we're going to convert these. Check image magic. Let's go PDF to SVG. Okay, <clears throat> so we should be able to just convert it with our regular convert command. Okay, let's do that then. Make sure I still have this. Great, all right. And let's go in here. Downloads and, and I want to change this to Hmm. That's my problem now. It's been a while since I've done this. Actually, I, I'm changing my mind. I'm not going to use Image Magic. Instead, I'm going to use Sketch, and I'm just going to try to export this as an SVG. And let's see. Um, let's just throw it right here in Downloads.
I think that may work. Um, I'm going to move it over into our image folder and test it out. So let's put it in here um, where it's supposed to be. us an odd effect when we zoom so let's take away the zoom from that one as well and remember that we need to add in the center class evidently I added classes to the material box class um, and I should not have done that and while we're here uh, we ought to add an alt tag and a um, title tag so just one more logo and I'm going to do the same thing that we just did I'm going to use sketch Is there actually? I hope I didn't leave that in. I did. <laughs> I'm going to rename this. I don't want to leave that in there. should work now. Alright, so you got Ruby's logo as well. Bennigan's, Brooklyn Bagel, Ruby's. Okay. this middle one make it even six hmm that's really odd 
um, it does not look like this is lining up like the other ones um, doesn't it look like this is takes up a lot more space There we are. Okay. That's better. That's better. Uh, I think the logo here on Ruby's could be a bit smaller, but um, I'm going to leave it like this for now. Because it's not, it's not awful. Um, you know, the page is otherwise pretty stark. I just wish we had a, a better version of this, a larger version. I think this is at its limits in terms of how large you can get it without it just looking really fuzzy. Okay. Alright, great. Um, Alright, the last thing on this page then to do is add in the alt and title tags for this image and then put the right values in for this um, in page navigation and then on all the other pages we'll add in the dining as an option and we'll get all of this minified and then pushed up to the server not bad <clears throat> Spelling Bennigan's right Ev everywhere. Bennigan's, Bennigan's. Check the logo. The N and I. Bennigan's. Okay. I think I'm spelling it right. a bit long uh, for a menu. I usually don't like ones this long, especially if it's a horizontal menu, but uh, there's only three of them, so let's give it a shot and see how it looks. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's make sure it works. Great. That worked, and that worked. Wonderful. We have our little up button, which still works. Alright. Not bad. Make sure. Okay. Okay. Um, 
So let's go in these other places then. About. Uh, we just need to change the menus in these other spots. Both the, the app bar menu and the, the side drawer menu. And if this page, if this site gets any more complicated, I'm gonna really wish I didn't do it like this. If you can see, it's a lot for just one change uh, at the time we just needed a few pages so it seemed like the simplest thing to do Blake, I see, I see you said code, I completely understand. Yeah, I told you, this is just, just plain HTML and CSS. We got a little bit of JavaScript for that, um, that in-page menu, just to make the scrolling <coughs> a little bit smoother. Um, other than that, it's just really plain. This one was just wanted to keep it as simple as possible and try to have it load as quickly as I could. I almost didn't get to do this site. It was, um, we were supposed to contract it out and then that never happened and for about a year nothing happened with it and then finally it needed done very quickly. <laughs> And so I ended up doing it. Um, doing it very quickly. <laughs> so I, I could have had a whole year to do this site, which I wouldn't have needed, but I could have had more time uh, if I could have just been assigned it immediately. But oh well, it all worked out. It does load quickly. Um, I just want to go through here and make sure that our menu items are there. Hmm. I thought I did change this. This index page. I did change it. Why is it not changing here? Yeah. There we are. Okay. Now it did change. Maybe I just didn't hit save. And this works on the server but it does not work well when I'm using gulp locally so I'm gonna have to manually type some of these in alright but we do have this here great let's get rid of this think it I saw that on hotel no I don't think I changed hotel did I I did let's save that again to see if it refreshes yep no it did okay all right so it looks like everything's fine there um, I'm gonna run 
So there, I know this there. I'm gonna check out my gulp file. Let's see what I have going on here. Let's try our, um, our gulp command here. Don't need this anymore. Let's try gulp dist. Okay, good. Um, did you notice the images didn't get pulled over? I think I'm going to have to do that manually. So, let's just Take this image folder. Um, and move them into our dist image folder. I never got around to automating that. Oh, goodness. No. <laughs> I did not mean for that to happen. That was silly, silly mistake. Um, okay. Here's how we'll fix this. Let's delete everything. Yes. And then now paste it on again. Okay, great. Um, I want to actually... You know, let's, let's just delete it all. I want to try to run this now. Um, I believe I have some sort of image thing in my gulp file. Um, what did I call it? IMG image man. So this should take everything in our image folder and minify it. Nice. Okay, so we saved 10.6% and then move it all to our dist image folder um, which would should be better anyway great okay so now we do have all the images they're a bit smaller than they were excellent okay now um, let's get add, add everything get commit um, uh, dining page. Great. Push that up. Wonderful. Now we're going to do. I'm using flight plan. Hopefully, this works. Occasionally it doesn't, and I've never been able to figure out the exact error. Sometimes I think it's the hosting provider, um, but they deny that it's them. It depends on who I get on the phone. <laughs> some, uh, some hosting providers do something and it works and it's fine, and then I get on the phone with a different person for that same company and they claim that it's not on their end it's on my end so if this doesn't work we'll have to manually move the files which is okay a little slower but either way it'll get done hey John Hansen uh, I just see it saw your message in the live chat 
say, say, Jesse, hope you get better soon. I know when you have a young family, germs and viruses are a constant visitor at home. When your youngest is about 12 years old or so, you'll be clear of it. <laughs> yeah. My youngest is one now, so I have quite a while until then, but I think it was. My one-year-old was sick last week, and um, she wants me to hold her constantly. So there was no way I was not getting those germs. It's a small price to pay, though, for having a cute baby around. Hmm. Alright, this seems to be taking a lot longer than normal. I should have seen something. So I am going to let this go. But I'm also going to try to get my backup method started as well in case this doesn't work or if it just hangs like this for a while. So let's see. I'm going to move this over to the side here just in case there's anything I shouldn't show on YouTube. So this did fail, um, so I'm not even going to try to figure it out. I'm just going to manually move the files using FileZilla. Uh, let's see. Okay, have I found it? This is odd. Hmm. Maybe I'm hosting this somewhere else. I don't realize it. Oh, here we go. Just have it in a different folder. Okay. Alright, so I should be able to just move my my dist folder. I'll bring this over. The font's going to be pretty small, uh, so sorry about that. But we should be able to just take that dist and move it right over. Um, overwrite source is uh, yeah let's just overwrite everything because this should be fine um, apply there we go Looks like that uploaded. Now let's um, check the site. All right, let's give it a refresh here.
Hmm. All right. You know what? This site is running through Cloudflare. So let's check out Cloudflare. I'm going to open up my other screen at first uh, just to make sure there's nothing that I shouldn't show. Um, been a while since I logged into my Cloudflare account. Uh, Cloudflare is a, a, a content delivery network. Um, so there might be some caching going on with Cloudflare and uh, I just need to sort that out. Uh, Blake um, in the live chat says there's uh, six six brothers and sisters. Wow, that's nice. Uh, oh, and you're the oldest. Cool, that's that's a nice big family. be an API key there's some sort of key displaying on my Cloudflare screen right now so let me let me try to get to a page where that's not there okay this looks good all right so here's my caching page Cloudflare um, so I think I'll purge, let's see what this looks like, uh, no, I don't want to, yeah, I really don't want to put in the URLs for everything, so I'll just purge everything, I think, um, yeah, yeah, let's purge everything, that's it's fine if it's slow for a minute, all right. Now, let's give it a refresh here. Hmm. Give it a hard refresh. Still nothing. Hmm. Maybe I have to give it a minute. Interesting. I guess I could browser this. I have a browser. I have Chrome Canary running on also on another screen. Let me try it in there. Uh, what was it? All right, still, still not getting it. All right, still not working. All right, so. Maybe, um. So I guess there's. There's two possibilities here. One is that it is just a caching thing. Uh, two is that I maybe um, used the wrong folder. Uh, so I'm going to double check that right now that that is, in fact, the right folder. I think it is. So it must just be a caching thing. Um, so I guess, I mean, we purged it, so it should be okay at some point. 
Let's see if I can go. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, it's not the right page. No. So I actually had that page, the dining page. It was built. Uh, it just hadn't... Um, It hadn't been, um, it had nothing on it basically. So I guess that page is also cached. I was hoping it hadn't been cached. Hmm. Okay, Blake says, watch the error counter on the dining page. Whoa, what is going on? Oh my goodness. I did not see that. That's insane. Cannot read property top of undefined. Oh my goodness. Alright. Obviously, it's minified. I'm not going to find this. Original offsets. It's this is weird. This must be because of um, whatever the cast version is. There's nothing in main. Yeah, so it, it must be looking for... Yeah, it's looking for this, but it doesn't exist. Okay. So that should be fine when the when the caching issue is is worked out. So let's just go away from this for now. <laughs> and <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll find out. Let's read it, the uh, documentation on purging. Okay. 
Alright, that wasn't helpful. That should have worked. Hmm. Alright, let me give it a one more look around in on my other screen. Um in in FileZilla just to see if maybe I put the files in the wrong spot. Where's my error message? You know what, maybe, maybe I actually have this hosted somewhere else. <laughs> I do, I have Franciscan Square hosted somewhere else. Alright, so I think what happened was I must have had this site hosted in a different place originally and then moved it and I was trying to upload the f files to the first place where I had it hosted and so let me look hopefully I still have this saved yep I do alright let's check this out I cannot remember how I set this up, so... <laughs> okay. to think for a minute. So I have this set up. So what? So I can pull in the repo using git? Is that how I did it? Uh, 
Because right now I can't. So this is the repo that gets pulled in, I believe. But it doesn't make doesn't make that much sense. I guess I don't even remember where to go. Um, all right, so this is running Ubuntu. I can never remember where the file system by default serves from. Anybody remember? What's the default? There it is. There it is. Alright, this is it. Cool. Okay. Finally found it. Okay. <laughs> So this is this is pretty good. This this should work now. All right. So let's grab that same disk folder we tried before. Let's bring it over here, and let's apply it to everything here. Okay. I probably didn't need to write everything. I anyway. It's already done, it didn't take that long. Alright, now let's try to see. Here we go, here's the site. Let's empty the cache, see what we get. We may have to. Yeah, we may have to purge that Cloudflare again. Just purge everything again. Okay, it does say wait up to 30 seconds for changes to take effect. So, I'm not going to wait 30 seconds. I'm just going to try it now and see what happens. Nope, nothing yet. Try to open a different browser, see if it makes a difference. Firefox open on my other screen, no difference in Firefox. Hmm. Is it is it even possible that I still mess this up? Oh my goodness. Maybe I did. Maybe this is it. Why do I have a video folder? Alright, well, let's... Let's move this into here. This is the craziest thing. What was I thinking when I set this up?
this was one of my first times um, trying to set something up so on on DigitalOcean. So I guess I shouldn't be too upset with myself. <laughs> I mean, I got it to work, right? Uh, wow. At least I'll have a video recording of how we did this if we can actually get it to work. Yes, that was it. That was it. So, um, here we go. Let's see. She's awesome. Let me copy and paste this link and send it to my boss. Wow. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey Sebastian, how's it going? Sebastian's at work, so can't join in. But thanks for uh, for stopping by and saying hi, Sebastian. All right, cool. It works. I'd be way more excited about this if I wasn't so tired. <laughs> um, but I, I am. I'm happy. Happy that it works. All right, cool. Um, it's always fun going back and looking at old code that you wrote and in this case I really forgot completely forgot how I set this up and until we dug in there and tried a couple things so oh, like I said now now if I forget again I can just watch this video uh, I guess that's the nice part about live streaming my work it's kind of like documentation. It's, it's easier than actually writing it out, at least for me. <laughs> okay. All right, so, um, oh, Blake noticed local doesn't have the dining link. It does not, what did I do? Uh, local. Did I forget to save local? Okay, I'm hitting save now. Where's my terminal? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, when I it it should have been there when I saved it. Let's make sure that it did change. Where did it go over? Let's see. Dist. Okay, so dist app local. And then let's try to find dist about dining hotel. Ah, uh, shoot. For some reason. It did not carry over into this unless I'm missing something. This index. Oh, shoot. Okay, so when I when I use gulp dist, it didn't do anything. Hmm. Let me try to run it again and see if it if it'll bring it over. If it doesn't, then I'll have to manually do some stuff to it. Good catch, though, uh, Blake. Okay. For some reason, local doesn't work. Where's my gulp file? Is 
Chris Mythology. So Loka was the last one on the list. Maybe, maybe that has something to do with it. Um, shoot. So all this ends up getting minified. I'm gonna make sure. Is that a man? Okay. Um, for that particular one, it's hmm. You know what? It looks like I had to manually do that at some point before. Interesting. All right, so let's um, uh, shoot. Let's just go ahead and delete that copy. Um, it's possible that I may have made some annual changes to this at some point and forgotten about it. So I'm going to um, I'm going to go in here and just make these changes again. That way, if I would have just overwrote this, I could have lost some things that maybe I didn't want to lose. Okay. Alright, so now... Oops, at the T on commit. Okay, well now uh, at least I only have to move one file. Dining's there. Excellent. All right, let's see. Okay, so Michael's saying Safari on Ubuntu throws an error. Closest of no. Okay. Oh. Okay, so on the about page, there's an error. Safari. Okay, so I'm not getting anything right now. Huh. Oh, that's where I have the video. I forgot about that. I wonder if it is... If it has to do with the map. Let me open it in Safari on my machine to see if I can just recreate it. It's interesting, the autoplay does not work in Safari, which is to be expected. I, I, 
I knew that. But it, the uh, the fallback's actually nice. It just looks like a static image. So you can see in Safari, uh, the video is just, just an image, which is acceptable. Okay, but I'm not getting that error on my version of Safari. I... It's almost like it's loading twice. So, um, Michael, can is the page viewable, or is it like the page completely crashes, can't do anything? I'm gonna check. Oh, op, not Safari. Opera. Oh, okay. You know what? I don't. I don't think I have Opera on my this machine. I have it on my laptop. Um, I was about to check my um, my analytics to see how many users that this will affect. So let's see, uh, if you never use Google Analytics, this is what it looks like now. It, it didn't always look like this, but um, I'd like to see um, my audience, audience overview. And actually, let's go with tech browser. And I want thirty days. No, I want to go back. Let's go back to March and apply. We get a, a lot, a lot of data here. From Okay, it seems like <laughs> I think I'm all right. So it's only Okay, so Michael says the page is actually viewable. It's just getting that error along with six extra ad blocker errors, and it's only that page. Okay, I'm going to say that's definitely an error, but I don't think it is a good use of my time to fix it. Uh, our analytics say that since March of 2017, we've only had three users on Opera, and... Only one of them has actually been in Steubenville. So, and I'm not sure if that version has the error. So I'm just gonna say, and let's see, when was that last one? The last time anybody viewed it in Opera, I mean, other than Michael today, it was in June. So I, yeah, I'm gonna say, um, not worth it to troubleshoot that, so. Um, anyway, I usually do that. If, if there's an error on a browser that's kind of, I don't think has a lot of use, then I like to go to the analytics. And because uh, sometimes I want all my stuff to work all the time, but that's just not realistic um, given that I have projects lined up that need worked on. So um, I'm not happy about it in case there is some user that gets a bad experience but um, I have to have to move on 
Um, okay, cool. I gotta just shut this down before I keep looking. Google Analytics is like you can just get lost in there with all the data. It's really fun to look at, but you can waste a lot of time looking at the data. Um, hey, Rook, how's it going? Um, all right. Well, I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish with that. Um, I need to get some data to my boss for a meeting later. And... Um, Maybe I'll merge in uh, with our other project that we've been doing on the Free Code Camp channel, our, our latest React project. I have a couple of pull requests that I haven't merged in yet. So maybe I'll merge those in today. Uh, we'll see. I'm getting really tired, so I think my productivity is going to be pretty low uh, for the rest of the day. I have a meeting, um, which isn't going to be intense. It's just going to be like time for me to relax. <laughs> really um, it'll be a lot of me just sitting and listening um, yeah and then I'll probably leave right after that because I'm just so t I'm tired sorry I, I feel like I'm complaining a lot but um, I just can't seem to wake up today um, all right so a thanks everybody for watching i know this was a smaller group than we're used to but it was still it was kind of cool um i just i really wanted to do some type of stream i haven't seen you all in since what like last wednesday so i missed you so i wanted to do something um i didn't want to put it on free code camp because i just i felt like the stream quality would not be up to the standards that I want for free code camp so that's why I put it on my channel but hopefully I'm feeling better and can be back um, for more streams this week and uh, anyway uh, I'm gonna end the stream now if I can find a button there it is <laughs> uh, so yeah I'm gonna end the stream and uh, thanks everybody uh, for watching and I'll, I'll see y'all later.